Good afternoon, morning still. This is an exciting time for me. I always get super, I don't know, giddy when this happens. Um, but we're going to get started with the baptism today. We have uh, some special moments uh, today where we're going to have some fathers uh, baptizing their children, as Robin said earlier. And so I'm not going to take up too long. I'm just going to allow it to happen. All right. All right. So I'm going to invite, Andreas, can you guys come up? Because you guys will, will be the first. Yeah, okay. Is Jesse coming up with you guys? Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to hand over to them. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is Nicholas and this is his dad, Andreas. Um, I remember seeing this guy when he was like the size of my leg and uh, like it's really exciting for me to see just how he has decided to in front of his church community uh, to, to tell everybody that he's put his faith in Jesus which I think is beautiful so I'm going to baptize Nicholas and then uh, Andres is going to pray over him all right okay. you're a big guy dude, so I'm going to have to hold you <laughs> okay. Nicholas forward, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior Cool. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Jesse was reading my mind this morning. So the verse I have for Nicholas is that uh, it's John 15, 5. It is, uh, I am the vine and you are the branches. If you abide in me and I in you, you will be fruitful in your life. But without me, you can do nothing. So this is, these are the verses that I want to dedicate for today. And Lord, uh, Nicholas, you have the rest of your life ahead of you. And God has planned a good life ahead of you and one full of blessings. And the secret is to, to really abide in him and for him to abide in you because when that happens he will be there with you in your every decision the small ones and the big ones he will be there to cheer you on and to pick you up when life goes through its up and downs and he will give you a life of blessing of meaning and the, the life that he wants you to live and i pray that this will be true for your life amen Um, so this is my great voorrecht om uh, for more hier so uh, for Annika and my daughter to kan doop. Uh, so Annika, I want to ask you a question. Um, with all these details, Iso, is your Lord Jesus aangenaam as your personal and selfish maker and verloser? Yes, it is. And is that you, is, is that you, uh, is your own free will from that doop word and gehoors aan met wat ons leer in die woord? Ons het my voorig nou om jou te loop in die naam van die Vader, die Seen en die Heilige Gees. Vader, ek sê vir jou baie dankie, dat Annika vandag die stap van gehoorzaamheid geneem het, om haar vertrouwe volkome op u te plaas. Heer, ek bid dat u haar sal seen, as hy van nou af stap in gehoorzaamheid in die voorbeeld wat u vir haar stel, dank u vader dat ek u voorrecht het om deel daarvan te wees en ek vraag dat u vir haar sal toevou met u liefde en die genade ek pleit u kostbare bloed oor haar, elke dag wat sy die reis saam met u stap ons ere en ons aanbid u vir die goedheid en die liefde in Jesus naam Amen
Awesome, amazing. <laughs> All right, this is Kaylin, and this is her dad, Chris. Um, <laughs> Kaylin is a, is a very special story for me. Um, she matriculated last year and spent the first half of this year in Durban doing so, something called the Discipleship Training School. Um, and it has just like absolutely exploded her faith in that time. Um, and this is for all of my young people who are getting baptized today. Every time I think of you, I think of that verse that the Apostle Paul writes to Timothy. And he says, do not let anyone look down on you because you are young. And then he says, be an example to the believers. And so I, this is to me like the best way to be an example to the believers when in front of everyone you, de you declare your faith in Jesus in this way. And so this is a very special for, moment for me. Um, so, Kaylin, have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Savior? Yeah. All right. I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Chris, <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want a chance to pray? Let's, we'll let Chris pray. No, oh, we'll pray. Father, thank you for, our, for this... For this young woman, Father God, thank you that you've blessed us with her, Lord. I pray for your hand upon her, that she would honor you with her life, mm -hmm. that you would keep her, and that you would use her mightily in your kingdom, Father God. We bless you, and we thank you for what you've done. Amen. 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 Who's this? Who's this? Yada, where's Yada? Yada, step into the water. Where's your family? Where are your siblings? Your siblings are here. Oh, they're standing in the back. Come closer, guys. Come stand in the front so everyone can see you. <laughs> Come stand closer. Come to the front. Yes. There you go. There you go. Yada came to me after one of the youth services and was like, Samora, I want to get baptized. And so we're doing just that this morning. And so Yada, have you accepted the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then I baptize you in the name of the... Put your hands together like this. Right, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All right, let's pray for Yada. Jesus, I want to thank you for Yada. I want to thank you for all the things that you're doing in her life. And in this moment, Jesus, not only is she an example to all the believers, but Jesus, she is now in, raised to new life in you, Jesus. And this is a public declaration of that. And so, Father, I pray that her life would be a testimony, would be a clarion call to the fact that, Jesus, you died and were raised again until you're coming. We thank you for her. I pray that you would help her to grow into a gracious, wisdom-filled, Jesus-loving young woman. It's in your name that we pray. Amen. All right, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's Ben Daniels. Is it you guys? All right, come on in, come on in. But let's say you can just stand here. Where's your mom? Well, oh, there she is. Okay, there she is. There she is. All right. Toby, you ready? Yeah. All right, Toby. I want you to put your hands together like this. Toby, have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. I baptize you in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Okay, Palissa, want to join us in the water? Okay, Toby, make, make room for your sister now. <laughs> All right, Palissa, have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior? In that case, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Toby and, and Balesa are siblings, so I'm just going to ask them to come. Can you come up to the front of mine and pray for them? Yeah. Could you just come up? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you very much, O oh God, for Palissa and Toby. Thank you, Lord God, for them giving their lives to God at this time. 
Father, we pray that, Lord, you will keep them. You will help them, oh God, to follow you all the days of their lives. That, Lord, Father God, they will live for you. And, Lord God, we pray that they will reverence you in everything that they do in life, oh God. And at the end of their journey here on earth, they will live with you. They will stay, be with you in heaven to reign with you forever and ever. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. 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 All right, you ready? Megan, have you accepted the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I have. I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mom and Dad, do you guys want to come pray for us as we, as we wrap this up? Oh, Jesus. Ah. Uh. Megan is such a blessing to our family. Um, thank you for her, and just pray that this is a, an important moment in her life, and you are a true blessing to her going forward as she can continue to share her gifts and her blessings uh, with all of us um, in this church. Amen. Straight in the pants. <laughs> this is another special moment. Um, Hannah, over the last couple of years, has has grown just so much in the in the journey with Jesus, and uh, yeah, I am I'm just very I'm just full of so much joy this morning, seeing all these young people take the step in their faith. Um, and Stephen here is always a dad, obviously, um, and we're gonna baptize her. Hannah, are you ready for this? Hannah, have you accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior? And I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> All, right. All right, just as, in terms of a scripture that comes to mind, um, the book of Ruth is a, is a great example for me of a, of a godly woman. And there's one part of, that, of the scripture where um, Naomi tells Ruth she can return to her land, but there's a part where Ruth's response is, uh, where you go, I will go. Where you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Uh, let's pray for Hannah. Father God, we're just so grateful for this day, um, for Hannah. She's just been such a privilege in our lives to be her parents. She's brought us tremendous joy. We've really enjoyed watching her spiritual journey and the development over the years. And we are just so grateful, Lord, that you've had your hand on her life for the last 17 years. We are grateful, Lord, as well for the community of faith that you've surrounded her with, for the pastoral care team in, uh, that work among the youth, and the incredible job that they've done, Lord. We just honor you, and we just ask you to be with her, to bless her, to keep her safe, and that her journey ahead after this moment will be one that is just filled with just such richness and depth in her growth with you. And we pray, Lord, in anticipation as well that as she enters the next phase of her life, um, from an age perspective, we pray, Lord, that whoever she chooses in her life, in her future, would be a man worthy of her. We just give her over to you, and we just ask you, Lord, to bless her, to keep her, and thank you for this day. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Then I have one last baptism. I'm going to let you, you come to the floor, front. Where are your kids? There they are. Okay, come stand to the front, bro. Come stand to the front, yeah. So we can see you. There you go. There you go. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Okay, we're in the water. All right. Ngalati, have you accepted Jesus as your Savior? In that case, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son. <laughs> Precious, would you come closer so you can pray for your mom?
So Joshua 21, um, verse 45 says, Not one of the Lord's good promises to Israel fade. Everyone was fulfilled. And what I pray for you in this journey as you have made the decision to walk with Christ is that let every promise that he has made for you be fulfilled just as he fulfilled for Christ. Let's close our eyes. Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for her life. Thank you for the blessing. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. And we pray that you continue to be with her and you protect her. We cover her with the blood of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 All right, that's it for me. I'm going to hand over to Jesse now. Okay, uh, Lonia is one of the most uh, one of the most bubbly, exciting people that I know, um, and it's, I think it's beautiful that she has decided to uh, get baptized here in front of her church family. So, Lonia, have you made a decision to follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior? Yes. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, let me pray for you. Jesus, we thank you for Lonia. We thank you for her life. King Jesus, we just ask that you would bless her wherever she goes. And Lord, I want to ask that you would have your hand over her, that as she follows you, Jesus, that it would, it would lead to blessing in all aspects of her life. I want to pray, Jesus, that the spiritual gifts that you've given her, would you help her to fan those into flames, that she would follow you and bring you glory. In your name, Jesus, we ask and pray. Amen. Patrick. Just careful. Slowly down the steps. Slowly down the steps. I've fallen on these steps before. It hurts. Okay, this is Patrick, and this is uh, his wife, Janine. And they're going to be uh, getting baptized this morning, obviously. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's very cold. It's very cold. So, who would you like to go first? Janine. Okay. Janine, have you made a decision to follow Jesus? Yes. Yeah? Okay. And I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yay! <laughs> Jesus, we thank you for Janine and her life. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would anoint her and bless her and protect her and keep her all the days of her life. Would she know you and love you? And would she find the life that you offer her in you, Jesus? I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would just go with her wherever she goes. And that she would know you, Jesus, in a powerful way. In your name, Lord, we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Pat. You want to come stand over here? Sure. Cool. You're a bit of a tall guy, so maybe give me your hand. And then we're just going to drop you back like that, okay? Okay. Pat, have you made the decision to follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior? I have. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Why don't we pray for him? Jesus, thank you for Patrick. Thank you for his life. I want to ask Holy Spirit that you would hold him so close to you. Would he know the presence of God wherever he goes? And Holy Spirit, I just want to pray that like a bubbling spring, that there would be life that just flows out of him in whatever he does and whatever he chooses to do. I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would bless him. Thank you, Jesus, that we get to celebrate these beautiful moments. In your name, Jesus, we ask and pray. Everybody said, Amen. 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 All right, then I think we have one more. Oh, Heng. Let's go. Guys, let's give Oh, Heng a round of applause, please. Oh, Heng, have you made a decision to follow Jesus as your Lord and Savior? you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Yeah. Good job, Ben. Uh, let me pray for you. Jesus, I want to thank you for Oaching. I want to thank you for just the fact that we get to witness and putting his faith in you. And actually declaring publicly that he's chosen to follow you, Jesus. I pray, Holy Spirit, that wherever he goes, whatever he does, that you would be with him. That you'd help him to know you and love you in a way that leads to life. Bless him, Jesus, because he is now your follower. We love you, Jesus. It's in your name that we ask and pray. Amen. Amen. Let's give him a round of applause, guys. Is there anybody else that wants to be baptized? This is your time. All right, guys, I think that is it. Uh, what I love about baptisms is just the fact that we get to celebrate with other people. So if you see the people that were baptized this morning, go and congratulate them. Um, it's an incredible thing that Jesus invited us to do. Just a last announcement from my side. Um, Rob's is standing here, so I don't forget. Do not forget, you still need to now check your kids out. You can't just go with them. Not that you're not allowed to do that, but actually you are. We just want to keep your kids safe, right? So please check them out from check-ins uh, before you go home. All right, cheers, everybody. Have a great Sunday. We'll see you soon. Bye.